guys, what is up? It is Master Wolf here. Welcome back to a brand new video on Pokemon Go. Now, today is going to be a bit of a different one. As you can see alongside me, whichever side I choose to put it on, there is me transferring Pokemon, evolving Pokemon with a lucky egg. This is everything I caught today. Now, I'm really sorry there's not going to be gameplay of me running around having fun. Tomorrow, I'm going to London to do that, so expect an amazing video tomorrow of me in London catching some crazy Pokemon. But for now, I wanted to sit back, relax, and kind of discuss something with you guys guys and that is the new update and there has been widespread anger emotion commotion just everything thrown at Pokemon Go and Niantic over the past 24 hours and I can understand why I really can understand why I think maybe it's a little bit over the top but I totally get it at the same time I myself am very annoyed but I'm not that annoyed that I'm going to boycott the game and stop playing, uh, and I'll tell you why. So, if you didn't know, the new update came out, and then actually another new update came out after that that was just like minor tweaks. Everyone was hoping they were going to fix something straight away, but it was just like a little bug improvement or something like that. But the main thing that Niantic have done is totally... 100% wipe out the tracking system or the Pokemon finding system in Pokemon Go. Which is crazy and is absolutely ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie, it is absolutely crazy. They came out with the game with a tracking system that granted was a bit buggy, but worked. It had the three, two, one footstep tracking to tell you roughly how close you were, and it worked to a degree. Then the three step uh, glitch came in where all Pokemon were on three steps, and unless you were doing it by what tier they were, obviously on your uh, nearby list, you had no hope in knowing how far away they were. And I can understand how annoying that was for people, but out of the blue becomes uh, Poke Vision and Poke Radar and these amazing sites that show you where Pokemon are anywhere in the world, how long they have left and where to go to catch them, which are really good, but I totally understand why Pokemon Go or Niantic weren't happy with those because it's not what they wanted in the game. They wanted people to use the tracker. But I think the majority of people thought, while the trackers are down, why don't we just use this? We can use this, we can go and hunt and we can have fun. And I totally agree with that. I think while a tracking system is kind of defunct and they're trying to fix it, I think, um, you can use this for now. And I thought that was a great idea. But in this update, They've slashed any of those sites. They're all gone. They are literally gone and kaput. You cannot use them. And the tracking system is not fixed. And instead of not even saying, we're sorry, it's not working, they just took away the footsteps. So there's a nearby list now showing you what Pokemon are nearby, but A, not whereabouts they are. They can be in a 70 meter radius. So you could walk 70 meters in one direction, and by the end of the time you've got there, it's 140 meters the other way, and you're none the wiser, it just drops off your list. And for another thing, I was actually walking around Salisbury with Charlotte yesterday, we both had our nearby list open, she had three Bulbasaur's, I didn't even have a Bulbasaur on my list. And guess what? We walked into two Bulbasaur's. Why the hell were they not on my list? What? I don't understand it, I don't get it, but that's not the biggest complaint. The biggest complaint about it is, why have they left it on there and it doesn't do anything? If it tells you there's a Pokemon nearby, it's like, yes! No idea where it is, but some lucky geezer's gonna walk into it. Why not keep it a complete mystery then for now? Take it out and say, look, we're fixing it, it'll be back X, Y, Z. Or why don't they just fix it? Or leave Pokevision and go, look guys, while it's down, here's Pokevision. Maybe they could do something with Pokevision where they don't tell you exactly where it is. They give you like a point, they say, go here, and it's within 20 meters of this circle. So you've actually got to stand on it. Like you do in the games, you have to walk onto the step of grass. So as long as you walk on it, it will appear. If you don't, it will Will disappear, etc. etc. Um, so this actually caused a really big change of plans for me this week. We were actually going to Hong Kong and Sydney at the end of this week to capture the two final regional Pokemon. Now I know you're probably thinking, oh, you can just get that from an egg. Calm down, that's not how us Pokemon trainers do it. If you want to be the best like no one ever was, you actually have to go to these areas and catch them. Not like Ash catch him, because he like doesn't catch a thing. But like the other Pokemon trainers, you've got to go and find them and catch them. We have now cancelled that trip uh, because we can't track Pokemon, we don't know where they are, and if we get close to it, 
We have no idea where it is. So we've canceled the trip and we're not going, which we're really upset about, but that is that. So for me, I think they've kind of ruined the tracking side. I love tracking and I'm not gonna lie, Pokevision was a really good idea. We were actually sat in Bath, me and my two friends at Nando's, right? I had half of a double chicken wrap and if you don't know what a cheeky Nando's is, you're clearly not from the UK. I had a cheeky Nando's right here and we were just having fun, eating away and one of my friends, he looks at his phone, he goes, there is a Lapras 12 minutes left on it, about two miles down the road. We literally looked at each other, put our Nando's away, we just left the food there and ran. We bolted to get this Lapras. And that was the most fun I've ever had. That was literally so much fun. Knowing there was a Pokemon nearby and running to try and get it and we caught it was so much fun. And that now is not gonna happen. So that's one of the fun sides taken. But that's not the only thing this update did. And this bit here is the bit that I struggle with. What the heck has happened with Pokemon? They are so much more angry. They are so much harder to catch. Literally, I had a 10 CP Weedle that ran away from me. It got out of my Pokeball and ran. Uh, I actually had a Hitmonchan earlier spawn, okay, on my lure. Now, <laughs> I'm upset about this because I didn't catch it, but I used 10 10 Ultra Balls and 10 Raspberries and it ran away from me. There is no way in this game for us to battle them a little bit and bring their health down. Even in the uh, in, even in the anime, you know, um, when Ash is trying to catch his Bulbasaur or whatever it is he's trying to get, I can't even remember. Um, I think it was Bulbasaur in the Hidden Village of the episode. But he tries to catch it, he pretty much kills the Pokemon because the Pokemon gets the X's in its eyes, which means it's fainted. And then he catches it and it's easy to catch. We can't do that. We have to throw so many Pokeballs at these Pokemon. I today, today have gone through 200 Pokeballs and I am not spending money on Pokeballs. I am not buying Pokeballs. I will walk around Pokestops and get them, but I am not, I bought one set of Pokeballs once because I really needed them and I was like, die straight and I was dying inside. But now it seems like it's taking the mick, like 10 Pokeballs for a, a 10 CP Paris or something. What is going on? So I don't know if this is because one, either people were leveling up too fast and Niantic were like, whoa, we don't have plans plans yet, we didn't think people would be level 30 already, etc, etc. Slow it down, make it harder. I understand that. Two, was it for money for Pokeballs? Did they want people to spend out on Pokeballs? Because I know that like, all of my friends, we need Pokeballs right now, because we have run out. I really hope it's not for that, but it's a possibility. Or three, were they just like, ah, let's make it a little bit harder, we're kind of taking tracking out, let's make people get even more frustrated about throwing Pokeballs at the game. And I know loads of YouTubers that are actually not playing anymore, because it's so hard to play for people. I understand as you get a higher level, things get harder to catch, but the lower level CP Pokemon should be the exact same. And um, the second evolution should be harder, but they shouldn't be impossible to catch. And that, for me, was the biggest disappointment in this update. Now, I'm not saying it's all doom and gloom. There's some good things in there. You can now customize your character. So if you picked uh, Team Instinct and you put red clothes on, you can now change it to yellow to match your team, etc., etc. Techs have been upgraded. Um, loads of things have been upgraded and look a lot nicer. The eggs now show you, like, the distance clearer and whatnot. And it's really nice and it's a lot more pretty. But it's such a small thing in the terms of the whole kind of update of what they've actually done. But that is not the reason I'm annoyed about the update. There is one thing in this update that has annoyed me so much, I have literally thrown my phone onto the floor, okay? That is the new animation when you get a gym. So when you destroy a gym down to level one and you're able to capture it, you used to be able to click straight off, put a Pokemon in here, boom, you're in. Nobody can snipe you. No noob from Valor or Mystic can snipe you. Team Instinct for the win. Uh, we were like trying to get gyms, right, this, this morning. And I won it, and I beat the gym, and it was great, and it was all dandy. And all of a sudden, this animation happened that literally took two seconds, two or three seconds, all right? In that time, I got sniped. So I did it again, don't worry, I did it again, beat the gym, I was like, oh, great, right, great, we're gonna put it in. And then this animation comes, it shows you, ah, oh, the gym's been taken. Now it's free. Now you can go and go into it. Hit X. <gasps> Why are Valor in there? And literally, in that amount of time, again, another team have put their Pokemon in. Why does it take away the fun of beating gyms? If you beat the gym, you should be able to put your Pokemon in straight away. No question about it. You've won the gym, your team own it, put your Pokemon in. Now they've made it harder for if you to beat it to put your Pokemon in. So I'm sat there, I'm like, right, I've got it down to level two. Who's around? They're around. They can get it down to level one, and I'll just be an absolute noob and snipe it. 
and it works. It genuinely works. So as you can tell, I'm not a really big fan of the update, but as you can see, we've leveled up absolutely loads. Uh, I found a Bulbasaur farm earlier. Tomorrow I'm going into London to film um, some Pokemon videos for you guys, try and get some final uh, Pokemon to my Pokedex because we are very close to completing our Pokedex and I'm really, really hyped. I'm really annoyed about this trip that I had to cancel. I really wanted to do it for you guys as a surprise and just fly off, catch the regional and be the first in the UK to catch all regionals because I've got Taurus in America. I just need the other two, but sadly I can't do that anymore because I really want to go and do this But I can't do it if I can't see where or even know if I'm close to the Pokemon or not I might instead do a UK tour and go to all the different UK cities But we'll see if you want to see that smash the like button down below and let me know anyway until next time guys Thank you so much for watching Let me know what you think about the update in the comment section down below, but until next time peace out